In this demonstration, we'll show you how to convert a D20 device single node to an MX uh, device. Uh, make sure that your project is copied to a backup and uh, that uh, your device is generated uh, prior to starting. So to start, we highlight the device. In the configuration uh, group menu, we click on change type. Under the change type, we select D20 MX. We see a red square around the device indicating that the device is undergoing a change process. You can change the name of the device and depending on the licensing, you can enable the licensing. Also, you can decide on what is the target firmware version that we will update to. In uh, this case, my board is a version 1.7. Um, D20MX ver firmware version 1.7 includes the security for DMP, so it includes a DMP secure server um, uh, as a feature for this firmware. By default, the firmware SAN001, which is the recommended firmware, is selected under the licensing. You might want to select the appropriate license based on the number of applications that you are using and the type of applications that you are using. If, for example, you're using logic links in your uh, application and that's where you need to review the D20MX and that's where you need to review the release notes for uh, D20MX firmware uh, release notes for um, version 1.7 and uh, basically you go to the licensing uh, page in the licensing page you will discover what each license is for which application and from, as you can see in the table uh, you will see the number that indicate which license is required um, as part of this upgrade process if for any reason you do, don't check your uh, the appropriate licensing you will be advised at the end of the conversion uh, process the required licensing for your d20 mx uh, that this is not just checking these boxes but also making sure that the ordered d20 mx board has the appropriate licenses right so now we click next in this interface it's showing you that uh, it's telling you that you might want to uh, review the list of applications that's going to be converted um, when you click the display application button uh, list it shows you a list of applications that are going to be converted and uh, what is the impact of the conversion so for example d20 peripheral link will be will be upgraded to the latest uh, version that's available in the target D20 MX 1.7. Um, for IREG B, um, it's giving you a note in here, which is a very important note, that you need to update the pseudo points after you uh, finish. So um, if you review the IREG B DCA uh, for the D20 MX, for version 1.7 document. Um, if you go to page number uh, 12, in the page number 12, you will see that it requires the three digital inputs, uh, one analog, uh, six analog inputs, uh, two analog outputs. So make sure that when you're done, that you add the appropriate uh, delta of points uh, which is uh, noted for you. So this is where the process has been uh, very simplified uh, for you. It notes whenever you need to change your pseudo points. Otherwise, for the rest of the applications, as we can see, there is uh, no changes. Um, no application will be deleted as all the applications are available uh, in this case. Now, if, any, if for any reason uh, an application is uh, not uh, available you will see it here 
with a red color, which means that you have, considering I don't have to do any change, um, we have the option of printing this document, uh, this uh, table. So um, if you go to the top of the table and right click, uh, you can uh, print it or, and uh, you can preview it, uh, email it to someone. But in this case, I'm just going to continue because it's a, it's a uh, fairly uh, easy upgrade. There is no uh, special actions required other than adding the Zulu points at the end prior to me uh, generating the device. So I will click close in here and I will continue with my upgrade process. Click next. Um, in here I can see the original SAB number and I can apply the selected firmware which is version uh, 1.7 it will put the appropriate SAN and version number and then we click next and the upgrade process uh, or the change to a D20MX will start as you can see a copy of the original uh, device is created uh, prior to the full uh, conversion The conversion process is done, so we click finish. And now we can see that the big red square have disappeared, which means that uh, our device is uh, ready uh, for the change. Um, just to complete the process, uh, um, I'm going to change the picture on the device to an MX. Then now this device is an MX uh, picture device. Now the log that has been provided as a result of the change from ME to MX, it's important that you review this log uh, for any uh, point that might uh, cause a change in your uh, substation. Uh, you can also uh, save this log as a, a Excel file and review it, uh, which is highly recommended that you um, extract uh, this log and keep it uh, in case you need to review a change in the future. Um, also, if you remember from, uh, the, uh, from the advisory, um, we have to update the pseudo points. So for the IREC B, uh, so to do that, we will open the B008 application the system point database. As you can see, the point numbers here are uh, 310620. Uh, Wrong device. If we go to the descriptors, uh, we can see that the first three points are the IREC B satellite available, IREC B enable, and uh, the update indication. Also, for the digital outputs, uh, you can see the one digital output in there. Outputs, there is the two analog outputs. Uh, so you might want to uh, update the naming on the analog. So this one will be IREC B offset two year digits okay um, and uh, as you can see um, we have all the points are updated per the advisory you can review the document um, so I see in here it's hours minutes seconds year uh, month and day and uh, as uh, you can see all the points are updated um, so we can, if you like, we can put it here, per the document, the year, update, bold indication. With that, we have done uh, what was advised in the tables. Uh, the device is ready to be uh, generated. As you can see, there is a red square in the device, so 
we can uh, generate the device to complete the process. So um, as you can see, our device has uh, generated and uh, the red uh, square has disappeared. Um, the device that this D20MX generated device is uh, going to be uh, ready for the download. It has the right SAN uh, firmware version 1.7, which features the DMP uh, security or secure uh, DMP server. Thank you for viewing this demonstration.